Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. So, um, we're continuing this like absurdly strong run um, by trying to make it, of course, even more strong and in even more absurdly strange ways. First thing we're going to do... So someone mentioned to me uh, the geomagnetic disc and that it was very good. I know it's very good, but I just don't want to. You know, I'm just like, I just want to get that out of the way. <laughs> I just kind of don't want to. Um, I, I know it's good, but it's a throwing weapon, and you basically only throw it the one time. Unless there's a way to throw it multiple times. If there is uh, an actual method to doing that, I would love to hear that. Because um, then it might become a lot more viable. At least for me, because I am super lazy. I'd much rather dabble in uh, other methods of, you know, you know, destroying our enemies than throwing a disc and then going and collecting it and then throwing it again and then... Yeah, it just kind of sounds exhausting. Um, that being said, I know it's great. I know it's a just wonderful, love, love that, love that um, item. Love it. But not, no, not gonna do it. Sorry. Can't, can't do it. Too lazy. Too, far too lazy for that. No one has got time for that, as they say. Someone has been uh, setting up some laser turrets. I hope those do not attack me. Okay, they seem to not be uh, aggressive towards me. So I did go down here, but I'm going to go down here again just to double check this person. I guess I already bought their bits, and that's why I'm down here. I guess uh, it would have been a good idea to keep this geomagnetic disc and um, I think that's mine. And then uh, basically um, get the bits, get the bits back. Um, we are trying this high energy thermo cask business. Uh, it's an experiment. I don't know how I feel about it. It could be great. It could be awful. Um, we're gonna, I am gonna want to, like I need some photonics and I'm gonna need some AI microcontrollers to make this whole build workout because I want to um, get our space inverter uh, hooked up with Jacked as well as our um, was a dithermo beam. We're gonna need photonics for that and we're gonna need where is the where is the armor? Where is the armor? Thermocast so we're gonna need two AI microcontrollers and one photonics. Strangely we actually don't need any meta crystals to make this work. Um, <clears throat> we have one but uh, you know it's all good. We don't, we don't necessarily need it right now. Um, Wooly, I mean, the nice thing about our thermo cask is I'm pretty sure it gives us really good um, cold resistance. Let me just double check that real quick. Let me press the right button. We have right now cold resistance 70. That's pretty good. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this thermo cask. I mean, we have flawless, Wooly flawless crystal gear. Sorry, woolly reinforced crystal gear. Can we? Did I reinforce the uh, our our thermo cask? I haven't yet. So actually, a, a second. Um, I guess we need three microcontrollers. Three because we want to put one on my the space inverter and one on the uh, dithermo beam. A lot of things to remember, a lot of words to remember that are all very hard to say. Wouldn't mind throwing our night sight interpolators on Jack as well. We're going to need a lot of AI microcontrollers is really, really the takeaway here. Also, I forgot we, we dropped a bunch of stuff down here and I want to go and collect. Um, I think we can take some of this stuff now without worrying about... Uh, weight issues. I mean, we're eventually gonna have to worry about those anyway, but that's fine. Um, all right, let's leave. There's not really much I can do in regards to, uh, you know. Oh, we have a named location in the Palladium Reef. I wonder if that's worth investigating. I like we're we're pretty much at the level where we could consider doing this, right? Right? I don't think so. To be honest, I think that we are are not prepared for how uh, nasty this could get. Um, let's see. Oh, 
right these crocs um can disarm us i forgot about that gotta be careful about that of course so what are we what are we fire firing with right now our die thermo beam and space inverter um let's just hit them with lays for now they could potentially kind of want a temporal fugue let's temporal fugue Are we, are there evil us's right now? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's, I'm, I'm hoping, really hoping that'll be the last uh, of those crocs. We see the crocs are really nasty. And um, the fact that they can disarm us, like, I don't think it's as like instantaneous and guaranteed as it is with mad poles, but it's pretty bad. Um, and the fact that there's a chance of it happening, I, I'm never going to be super thrilled about, uh, meddling with that. So the space inverter is not really what I thought it was, is it? The space inverter seems to be a teleporter. So I feel like that kind of stops this whole thing dead. I think there is an achievement with the space inverter. You can, if you mod it to get the, tri like basically, um, you can, you can, there's a mod that you can get that will like turn a weapon into a spread weapon, like a shotgun. And if you um, put it on the space inverter, you can basically make clones of yourself. I'm, I'm gonna go back to my original plan. I, I think I wanna try the null ray pistol. Uh, I guess it's only five pen though. Handrail is 13 pen. I think we got to try the handrail. Um, let's replace the cell. Don't want to replace it with a lava cell. I kind of want to replace it with a nuclear cell, but I don't know if... I, I don't think I have a spare one. Ooh, I love that sound. That's a great sound right there. That was... That's awesome. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a uh, nuclear cell out of, I say, our dithermo beam. I am gonna um, like very quickly renege on this um, cask idea. If I'm not using the di, see, the reason I don't like, I, I thought the space inverter was the one that shot plasma, and it's not. Um, and the, the reason it, the plasma one was going to be so good with the dithermo beam is because it was going to soak things and plasma while we're burning them. And then with the cask, that was going to increase our chances of burning things and, or not our chance, just our, our uh, ability to. Um, so I'm not saying that this isn't still viable. I am saying that if I don't have the plasma pistol, then the build is not nearly as good as I was hoping for. Um, okay, we're gonna temporal fugue. We have a gun again, which means we have to be kind of worried about our temporal, our, 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 our temporal clones um, shooting us. It's, it's a genuine problem. Also, I think our rails shoot photon beams, which is a little bit of an issue. How much uh, energy does this, wow. Shoot it a couple of times and you, you are basically using up quite a lot of energy. Um, can we at least mod that with Jacked? I could disassemble the Null Ray pistol for maybe a photonic Photonics. And then Handrail Jacked is a Photonics. So let's do that. Someone out there is going to be uh, disappointed with me for disassembling a Null Ray pistol. I'm sure the Null Ray pistol is amazing. But I'm not, you know, I gotta, I gotta make choices, you know. And no matter where I sit on the whole dithermo beam and thermo cask thing, um, I don't think I'm gonna be making use of any of that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit our handrail with jacked. This is our first jacked item. I'd love to hit it with scoped as well. In fact, I'd like to hit it with scoped and then um, basically uh, dip our handrail into some meta... Uh, what is it? The the duplicating juice so that we could have two of them. There's lots of these crocs and I'm not super happy about that. 
So you can see in the bottom left our discharge. I haven't used discharge. Uh, and you can see now like it's it's making use full use of our discharge. Um, this does mean that we still have to be kind of aware of, uh, you know, our, our, our ammo, but not to the, nearly the same degree that we, we were at before. And, and also we have like renewable energy. So all of this is very good. Our, uh, electrical, um, generation generates at a pretty good rate. These are eigen turrets. Wow. We can't deactivate these, right? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Eigen rifles. Uh, th those are pretty tough. A little bit concerned. Oh man, these these crocs are are just no no good. I'm still gonna use my um, lays. The lays doesn't isn't as good pen as. Uh, our, our rail, but it's still pretty good. Conk. The the hope is that we can perma stun these things before they do any lasting permanent damage. So I guess we are doing a named location or a historic site in the Palladium Reef. This is definitely spicier than I've ever Ego sap. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Pretty sure those things are permanent. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure these things can, can destroy your ego, like, permanently. So we don't really want to deal with that. There's some, there's some spicy stuff here for sure. Oh, there's two of them. We don't have temporal uh, fugue off just yet. I'm gonna conk, hoping for that perma stun just to just to block the entryway here. Oh no, yeah, these guys are tough. So let's go ahead and let our temporal clones take care of all of that. This is a uh, pretty good because I don't think our clones can hit us from there. What was over there shooting us with confusion rays? Oh, right. Okay. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and rest. And we're going to go ahead and wait 24 turns so that our temporal fugue is off cooldown. We should be good to continue exploring. I got a lot of books. Might be worth making a trip pretty soon. Whoops. Honk. It's probably better to just like perma stun those lads than uh, you know waste ammo on them. As soon as they are up in our grill, we can slam them away. And then, yeah, perma stun them. I mean, like, there's a, a few different methods. Is that a litho? That is a litho fix. Really, really not. Um, oh, that's a mirror bug too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, some some really spicy stuff over here, and it looks to me like the Lithofex has uh, made an enemy of the the mirror bugs. Now you see that like red beam is a lot more noticeable now, huh? Um, <laughs> you remember? You seem to recall. You might recall. I had a really, really good run, and by the hands of a Lithofex. A Lithofex has a not 0% chance right now of killing themselves. Because uh, mirror bugs have a pretty good chance of refracting um, a lot of, not just attacks, but okay, there's a Lithofex right in front of us. We are not uh, friends to unshelled reptiles. So this could go awry. We're going to go ahead and Temporal Fugue. There's a good chance that we'll be able to collect... Oh yeah, uh, I think a Lithofix got statued themselves. Where are our clones? 
I think I'm accidentally hitting a mirror bug because uh, that's going to explain why I'm taking so much damage right now. Also, Lithofex is hit pretty hard. Fortunately, there are other things for the Lithofexes to, like, fight. Yeah, we're, we're not doing so good right now. I'm going to... Okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to take any more dumb risks right now. We have 23 herberries. Absolutely no reason for us to be taking stupid risks. I almost want to collect this <laughs> stone statue of a lithofex. It's like, uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll clean it. How about that? <laughs> it's almost like a, a you know, a Medusa's head. You know, it's it's a it's a little prize. We got ourselves a stone statue of a lithofex. That'll that'll show you, litho. How dare you end one of my best runs? So, uh, mirror bugs are a sign that there's a mirror around. Um, oh, shoot. Croco. The mirrors will basically forever spawn the mirror bugs. And uh, the mirror bugs are a real pain. You can't really shoot them. I'm pretty sure they reflect every um, projectile back at them. Including grenades, I'm pretty sure. I could be making that up. I managed to get some bop, bop cheap there. Oh no. No, not clockwork beetles. Oh, I hate clockwork beetles so much. Oh. Okay, we're in a not terrible situation right here. I kind of want to... Oh, right, can I not switch weapons right now? I, I want to I wanna pull out my pickaxe. It's in tools, right? They, um... They do have a chance of... Um... What do you want to call... Oh, now that croc is... <sighs> this is such a bummer. I know I'm attacking a croc with the, the pickaxe, but I, I really just wanted to, with the pickaxe, um hit this stupid thing that's creating the, the clockworks. Um, discharge again. And then, you know what, let's just laze. I'm trying to kill the croco. They're wounded. Capacity too weak. Discharge. Please die. Uh, okay, Herberry. If I was in, uh, if I was in, like, classic mode right now, I'd be really concerned. Main stun, there we go. I just want to get rid of this stupid block that spawns the clockwork beetles. The clockwork beetles do have a chance to stun me. Um, and in fact, they have a chance to perma-stun me. So there's not a 0% chance of me being, like, killed here. But that being said, it's worth getting rid of this thing, and there's no real way to get rid of it without being attacked by these stupid clockwork beetles. I guess I could kill the one on the northeast and then move there, and now I'm only being attacked by one. And that l certainly lessens your chance of being uh, perma-stunned. These things are not super na you know, hard to kill, but, you know, they just take time like anything broken. I'm pretty sure that means it won't won't spawn anymore. I like to get rid of it permanently. Now we'll uh I'll re-equip my melee weapons and I'm really hoping that that'll mean uh we don't have to fight any more of those. Like I, I hope there's no more clockwork beetle vents in this zone. Kind of want to like cut my winds and and book it to the the six day stilt because we have a ton of books like we're running well we're not running into uh inventory problems just yet but soon so you can see those those guys will reflect like all of your damage back on you i'm hoping kind of hoping they're just a random spawn and in fact there is no mirror because if there is a mirror then they're like they're they're, they're like the nest they're much like the nest of, uh, you know, of beetles, for instance, or 
uh, centipedes. They're like a late game nest. Okay. Crocos are, um, I guess, oh, what is that? And what is it about to do to me? Interdictor. Let's not be in that zone. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a photonics. Amazing. That's uh, that's great. I, I I can absolutely use one of those. Is that an? Oh. Okay. So here are the beetles. They're gonna do quite a lot of damage to me. Pretty sure there is a mirror. I don't think there would be this many of these if there wasn't a mirror. So I don't know what the play is for these. I can't shoot them right. Uh, ref yeah, refracts your long photon fails to penetrate. So I think, honestly, the play here is to temporal fugue and hope that they just get dealt with. Um, I kind of wish it, our temporal clones were a bit smarter. They don't seem to do anything. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. And now we're surrounded. Like, our temporal clones don't seem to want to attack things, and that's really annoying. And these things, like, absolutely destroy my health. I'm sure there's a there's an easy way to kill them that I don't know of. There's the mirror. Okay. Mirror is dead. Perfect. I'm not sure what these interdictors do. Not excited to find out. But they are they are good bits. We got uh, I got a photon bit from it. And they are 800 XP each. Some really good XP in this historic site. God. Oh, I think I actually do see there's another clockwork beetle thing. Ah. Hoping, yeah, okay, we can just do it with our... Crystal is, is good enough pen that we can do it with our crystal gear. We don't have to worry too much. Lots of good stuff here. Like, just an absurd amount of good stuff. Oh, was that another thing? Getting rid of this thing right now. Okay. Look at all these books. This is this was like such a nice historic site, I gotta say. Okay, I think we're just about done. Yes. We collected just a ridiculous amount of books. Alright, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and recoil to Gritgate, I think is the closest place to the stilt. And I can't, I can't really, like, that was a pretty tough first, like, top floor, surface floor. I don't really want to risk, like, going through this historic site and then losing the, pro the progress I already made. So I am going to go, I'm going to take a, take a, um, this opportunity to drop our books off and it should be a nice chunk of XP. Notice some ruins nearby, sure. Cadmium Village is, of course, a uh, a ruin, not a village. Has a staircase. Nylon body pack. Sure. They're not really worth picking up if you already have one. Like, I guess I'm. They don't have a good water weight ratio. Uh, ironically, ironically, because I mean they're gonna save you uh, inventory space, but only if you wear it. But they caught they're ten pounds, and I'm pretty sure they're like fifty, only fifty uh, drams. So not not the greatest ratio. But still, it's it's like my philosophy with ogre pelts and uh, albino pelts is you know it might not be a great ratio, but it's still it's still money, you know. 
Technically the salt krakens aren't great ratio, but it's still like a ridiculous amount of, um, you know, money. Give all books 34,000 XP. You are now level 28. You swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. And the inspiration to name your crystal shard mail, yes. <sighs> what would I want to name it? Refractory. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm good at naming things. I like to keep it the same color as what it was. That way it's easier for me to figure out what it is. Easy to tell that in the body spot, of course. So we are pretty close to leveling up again. So that was good. Let me see if I can't level up our temporal fugue. Yes, I can. Can't do it again though. Um, we have some skill points. I could, uh, I may as well take demolish. I, I say I may as well. I, I don't know why I'm hesitating on that. We'd need more toughness for some of the endurance stuff. Uh, menacing stare, berate. Could take some pistol stuff. I don't think I really want any pistol stuff. Tinker, we've already got Tinker. Oh, you know what? I should take some um, wilderness lore. Let's take ruins and rivers and lakes. Uh, I could take other things of, as well, of course, but, uh, also someone was telling me, I just like, I was looking at that, uh, the marshes and I was like, oh, I, I didn't realize I didn't have marshes. Someone was telling me that there's a guaranteed mechanical wings that spawn somewhere in the marshes, which I, I never knew that. Like I learned something about this game every time I play it. We should definitely take dual wield. This will, it's, it's not like I was explaining at one point, it's not as good as you think it is, but it's still pretty good. So... Definitely we should take it. And then I'm going to go ahead and set Flurry to be uh, some attack. I think F... Maybe F1 is actually in... Uh, is, is it not in use? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need help. I mean, I need help, but not for that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and check out the schematic salesman. Because at this point, I, I just, like, need bits. It's... It's the only thing I'm really lacking um, to, to improve things. Like, the only, outside of, like, Zeta Chrome. Zeta Chrome, of course, like, I, I, this comes up in almost every good run, is, yeah, sure, Zeta Chrome. Um, you know, but when and how and why and, like, how? Like, Zeta Chrome. It's, it's not, like, I don't have any choice in that matter. Unless I go, like, 20 to 30 strata underground... Um, I'm not going to find Zeta Chrome, and even then it's like a complete crapshoot. So, uh, it would be nice, but I, I play out every run believing that basically, um, Crystal or Flawless Crystal will be our last upgrade. Nanon. Um, chance to dismember on penetration. Don't know what this is. Don't know if it's a gun or a weapon i know it's probably a weapon but i don't know what kind of weapon precision nanon fingers tinker three as well so not not super useful to us we're never i don't think i'm ever going to be high enough level to uh make use of tinker three what does it even require i am not i'm not entertaining this right now i just like out of morbid curiosity uh 29 intelligence Whew, yeah, that's not happening. That's that's not happening. That's six attribute points. Unless I get, like, really lucky with some kind of weird, like, loophole that I'm not sure about. Um, I did shed quite a bit of weight, but I want to check out the Dromad Caravan just on the off chance. They have some, some gear. I uh, wouldn't mind selling... Or stuff. I don't know where they are, of course. This is a problem with Dromad Caravans in the stilt, is they, they wander. And I don't know where they went. Okay, they're 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 in this tile. Oh stop moving. I hate 
hate that. <laughs> okay, there you are. What do you have? Anything cool? And you've got some weird artifacts. Plasma grenades. Those would be useful, and that brings us back to that whole uh, flaming setup. You've got some really nice trade goods. I'm pro probably the one that gave you those trade goods, but I think we could definitely grab those off of you. Tempted on this gyrocopter. I don't know if I want to keep it or not, and it's very heavy, so I'm not sure. I am I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know. Ooh, this bop cheek is like really valuable. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's that. I think, no, no, I think it's the like, there's like tongue based effects. And I don't think that that, I don't know what the pop cheek does. I really don't. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, I'm gonna keep the space inverter on the off chance I get that mod so I can get another Achievo. Um, I guess I'll sell the metal folding chairs. I guess I don't have a lot to trade. I thought I had a lot more. I do need to start making use of the Nano Nero animator. There's a lot of, there's a, there's a couple of achievements associated with that. That would be worth getting. I guess I could sell our witch wood bark. Not really a necessary necessity anymore. We'll sell some of our food. This isn't really getting me closer to buying this trade goods. I'm just like trying to get rid of some stuff. I don't know. Someone, maybe someone could let me know. Unfortunately, this episode is not going to go up for quite a long time. So I'm not going to know for quite a long time. But, um, like, I, I would like to know if the um, high energy thermo, thermo cask is actually worthwhile. How much am I getting? 111 drams. Sure, we'll do that and then we'll sell something else for some money. Uh, could sell a bop cheek. Can't have it all. I have a lot of can't have it all, apparently. I have a lot of fire ant gaster paste. Which I don't know if I'm ever going to use much much of this. I'm sure someone's going to tell me, hey, that's exactly what you need to make that um, like fire build work for you. The one that you've been talking about. You're probably not wrong. Also, I just realized I actually have quite a lot of trade goods if I sell some food. Because I have a lot of food. Like, all of the spine fruit jam could definitely go. Um, Taco Suprema is... Um, free weight so I don't have to sell that and sell some star apple jam I won't sell our fermented yuck wheat scent we don't need 14 for sure but sell our crab meat why not uh bark biter jerky I don't know if that's worthwhile sell some can you know what I'll keep the canned have it all on the uh, for making recipes because we do have to make some recipes, don't we? In fact, we could make some recipes, like, right now. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, most of the vine wafer sheaf. Like, we don't need that much. And I'm a little bit stuck. I need a uh, hundred more drams. Could I sell? I could sell this sapphire holographic ivory thing. Nah. Um, I could sell this wine. Probably better off keeping it, but this is okay, and we have 113 grams, so that's good enough. And I think I'm going to call it there for the episode. I know not a very eventful one. Um, we are going to recoil back to Eat Freehold. It seems to me I've been ending... Oh, shoot. It seems to me we've been, I, I've been ending every episode in Eat Freehold. Um, that's just kind of how it works. You know, you end up going to the, the, the location that has like the best stuff in it a lot. Um, especially when you, you know, if you have a recoiler to go there and you're in a position where you're just going to be like making as much water as possible and, you know, selling and trading and doing a lot of stuff. Then yeah, you're gonna end up in Eid Freehold. Eid, Free Eid Freehold is now the most like late game of locations, and it's it's the best place to go. Um, 
I don't think I've been down here. We have some actual history down here. Are these just like houses? This is where people go? There's a novice of the sightless way down there. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff down here I've never looked at. Kind of nice. Can I trade with any of them? Idly wave weaving. No. Nothing. Can we can we trade with this fellow? Live and drink friend. They have nothing. They just have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> they have nothing. Just a bunch of stuff. And then in this zone over here is is the the sitting zone. The conversing zone. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm just going to check to see if everyone's, you know, if they, everyone's renewed their um, their gear. And I think probably I haven't because I just got here. Oh, maybe. Flexi weaved. I do. Flexi weaved is good, but not for me. Thermo grenade. Grenade launcher. Uh, we have some more bits. Definitely, I will buy those bits. We've got a nuclear cell in the seed freehold recoiler, which would get me a thermo, uh, sorry, a photonics. So I guess I will buy that. Um, you'll have to forgive me for doing as much trading as I am. I actually kind of want to keep a lot of these. Wow, it takes a photonics to make a plasma Mark III. That's an that's a that's a spicy grenade right there. It's an expensive use. Um, let's sell this sapphire. Sapphire. No, let's not. Sell so instead this a, a rough topaz. Perfect. Okay, we've got a bunch of bits. I hope. Yeah, I disassembled those, and we can. I guess <laughs> I keep almost ending the episode, and then I'm like, you know what? Since the 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 store is apparently renewed. We may as well also check out our plant down here. See if they've got anything cool. It's always nice to check out cool stuff, you know? They, they do have flawless crystal gauntlets. Do we need those? Um, technically, yes. But we have the Bliss of Glass. And I'm pretty sure this is worth taking an AV hit. Plus one agility. This item's AV and DV modifiers are being... No, no, no. Reflect 5% damage back at your attackers rounded up. I think it is okay. I honestly think at a certain point we might consider upgrading to Flawless Crystal. Um, I could buy some more herb berries. And no, there's nothing else really here Not for us anyway. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Let's go.